Hi lovely reading buddies, it's Alora, and today I'm here to talk about books that I want to reread in 2019. So the six books on this list are books that I have already read in the past, but it's been a while, or I wanted to get more out of it, I thought that maybe a reread was in order, so let's jump right in. The first book that I want to talk about today is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. This was such a complex and well-written novel about this young man who's going to university. He feels like he hasn't quite found his niche and then all of a sudden he meets this kind of eccentric, kind of crazy Greek professor who has a very small core group of students who are studying Greek. I believe there are only four or five other students in this class and so he he starts to integrate himself into this book. A very interesting mystery begins to ensue. We learn towards the beginning of the book that someone has died. We don't know who it is yet and we don't know who killed them and we don't know the circumstances surrounding the death, we just know that there has been a death at the school. And so the book very slowly begins to weave together the circumstances surrounding this murder. I'm not usually one for thrillers, but I found this to be slow burn enough that I wasn't terrified, I was just intrigued. I also associate this book with two of my favorite music artists because I learned about the music artists at the same time as I learned about this book and was reading the book while listening to them, and those are The Paper Kites and Lord Huron. So if you need a reading playlist for this book, I can recommend those. The next book that I want to reread this year is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness and Siobhan. Dowd. Now, this is one of my favorite books of all time. It's incredible. It follows this young boy whose mother is dying of cancer, and in the middle of the night, a monster knocks on his window. It's heartbreaking, it's gorgeous, it made me sob, <laughs> absolutely sob, and um, I'm going to be talking about it in more detail in an upcoming video, but I do definitely want to reread this one this year. It's only 200 pages and has illustrations, so it shouldn't be much of a stretch. The next book is taken way back, over a decade, that is Becca Cooper by Tamora Pierce. It's um, Terrier. So this book I don't even know how to explain it. It follows this young girl who is part of a sort of like a police squad in this city and there are three of them, three books in the series, words, and I have all three of them but I only ever read the first one but I remember really enjoying it and the words are really big on the page so I feel like I could fly through this one pretty quickly and it would be kind of a fun little pick-me-up, nostalgic, reminiscent read. After that we have The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, which is the first book in the Chaos Walking trilogy. As previously discussed, I am a major Patrick Ness fan and I can't believe that I haven't read this trilogy. I did read this first book and I remember that it kind of had a stream of consciousness type style to the writing and so I remember reading it really quickly and I don't remember why I didn't read the second and third ones. I own them now but it's possible that when I read this first one I didn't own them because I have the old cover for this book and I have the new edition covers for the second and third book so maybe I just didn't own them yet which is why I didn't pick them up right away. Anyway, in order to get to the second and third books, I definitely want to reread this first one. The fifth book is kind of a creepy one, and it's The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. These books were really popular like five years ago. Lots of people were talking about them, lots of people were reading them, and then suddenly they kind of disappeared. But I noticed that within the last year, Michelle Hodkin put out a few books about Noah, the other main character in the series, and so I decided, you know what? I'm willing to give this one another go. I remember being a little bit confused by it, like I wasn't sure what the genre was. I wasn't sure if it was paranormal or if it was horror based in reality or what exactly was going on, but I do own all three books in this series and I only ever read the first one. This seems to be a trend, so I think I want to reread the first one so that I can get through the whole series and develop my opinion from there. The final book on this TBR is one that is near and dear to my heart. It's so nostalgic for me. That is Ink Heart by Cornelia Funk. I adore Cornelia Funk. She is such a wonderful author and I just gained so much from her writing when I was a young kid. I read this book together with my family. We read it out loud when I was probably maybe 10, maybe 12, something like that. And I haven't read it since, but I have watched the film. Anyhow, one of the challenges in the reading rush this year is to read a book and watch the book to film adaptation. And so I decided to go with, with this one for that challenge, which is why that's on the list. This book follows a young girl whose father is a silver tongue, which means when he reads stories, things come to life out of those books. 
It's a really interesting pre premise and her writing is just so whimsical and fun and I really recommend this if you haven't picked it up. Okay friends, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Let me know down below what are some books that you've read that you want to reread and I'll see you very soon. Love you.